Hey, I'm Nick Donovan here at Pikes Peak International Raceway, and I'll tell you what, it's hot rod, rock and rumble, and it doesn't get any more rock and roll than a guy named Lee Rocker, formerly from the Stray Cats. Are you still with the Stray Cats? What, what goes on here? Well, sure am uh, still with the Stray Cats. Okay. Started the band back in 1979 in my dad's garage, wow. and uh, every, uh, every so often we put the band back together and we hit the road. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, you know, Stray Cats, you're kind of kind of playing oldies and rockabilly and things like that when it wasn't necessarily a popular thing back then. No, I mean rockabilly music was not that well known, especially oddly here in the states. They were a little more aware of it in uh, England, actually. Wow. So we moved to England, and they knew what we were doing, but we were doing our own thing to rockabilly. We were putting an '80s touch to it right. and some punk to it, and. Uh, and treating it like you should, you know, you got to do your own thing within whatever genre you're playing. A little bit of attitude with it, all kinds yeah, of good stuff. You yeah. bet. Yeah. Fun stuff. Who were your influences back in the day? Carl Perkins was probably my biggest influence. Wow. Uh, Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran, uh, and on bass, Willie Dixon, who mm. was the greatest. And he played bass for uh, Chuck Berry as well as he was an upright, the upright bass man. Uh, and a songwriter and a record producer, so I was really trying to follow in his footsteps. Kind of, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I always envy people that have musical talent because I have absolutely none. <laughs> when did you? Uh, when did you like start playing and things like that? I actually, my folks who are both classical musicians, wow. uh, so the, we had one rule growing up, which is uh, you had to play an instrument, uh -huh. and I started by playing cello. So I learned to read and write music, uh -huh. and probably around seven years old. Wow. And then hit teenage years and uh, got into rock and roll. Well, with a name like Lee Rocker, I think you have to. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what's going on in the future? What are you thinking about? Well, right now I've got a lot of concerts here in Colorado today, uh, but really all over the states for the rest of the year. And uh, next year I'm undecided exactly, but something big might happen. I'm going to say, I don't see retirement in your future. Hell no. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear out of Lee Rocker. Well, we appreciate you being here in southern Colorado at Pikes Peak uh, International Raceway. And I saw you here when you were here at Hot Rod Rock and Rumble a number of years ago. Yeah, it was a long time now. I think, yeah. it, was, I think it was the first year. Yeah. And uh, this thing has really grown up. Yes, it has. And I think it was really, really cold that night, if I remember. I'm... Not sure if I remember the weather, but uh, but I had a good time. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time here to chat with us here at Pikes Peak International Raceway in the Hot Rod Rock and Rumble. Are you a car guy? Um, I do love cars, all sorts. I've had a uh, 1970 Chevelle Super Sport uh, with a 396 and a cowl induction, wow. uh, a 59 uh, Ford Skyliner. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm, you know, I do. At the moment, I don't have a vintage car, but. I'm but you looking, like him, I can tell. I like you, can, him, yeah. you can like him, I can tell. Lee Rocker, thank you so much for taking the time once again. And I got to get uh, let you get out there on the stage because you're about due. You got it. Thank you. All right. All right.